Y'all hear that shit? How could you not? Sometimes these guys ride by here, man, just to showcase their stuff, you know, whatever they got, man. The ones that know about me. And most of them do know about me. <sighs> there was one interesting fellow, man. He actually lives with a lady that I knew when I was young. And He's into the motorized bikes big time, man, but he, he uses meth also. And I told him I don't associate with people that use meth, man. I sure don't. You know. And he's one of the nicer guys. I mean, he really is. He's kind of like my brother was on that shit, man. He's not too bad of a fella until I think when they get strung out on it, though, then they get start asking me weird questions of, are you recording me, and uh, their behavior is modified, and they become a pompous ass, you know. I remember my brother coming over here and saying, uh, where's your Adam's apple, shit like that, you know. And I thought, uh, it's right where your nuts are, you stupid bastard. Or where they're fixing to be when I get done with them. <laughs> Non-existent. Or you, they're there, but you can't see them. Because I done kicked them up inside your ass, you know. Uh, this shit like that. And, uh, it's comical. It really is. Looking back on this shit now, you know, back then, I wasn't too damn uh, humored by it. And but I had an Adam's apple, y'all. It's just, you just couldn't see it, man. It was buried in fat. And he was a little skinny bastard running around high on meth and didn't understand why us fat bastards could be so fat, right? Well, the last time I saw him, y'all. He was the fat bastard, not me.